host is Adora Mock. My name is Laura Bresinetti. My name's Robin. Um, my name is Vivian. My name is Crystal Ramanowskis. I'm Eric Christensen. My name's Greg Tweedy. My name is Anthony Cito. The Talon Project presents expert voices in navigating the shift to emergency remote teaching. Trying to create materials quickly to give enough lead time so people can use them in a thoughtful fashion so then you can follow up. Because if you just say, here's the resources, I'll check in next week, that's not going to work. Typically, I would say it takes like six to nine months to go and prepare an online course. It takes a lot of energy to create something that's like kind of similar in terms of engagement experiences. With COVID, we've lost the hallway chats, the questions in between breaks. Loss of having an environment that's conducive to design and creativity. It can become a barrier in like how you are able to work efficiently and not everyone has like a great uh, home workspace as well or like great internet access. Now I think online learning can be fabulous. It can be creative and emergent uh, and inspirational. But I also think there's something about the physical university, the space of it, the time of it, that notion that it, it is your time to be and to inhabit your learning body. The actual face-to-face -face contact um, and the human experience is all a part of the learning process and we learn better when we're together. I can literally cut out all the extraneous information so that we can connect learners to the key pieces of information to offload their cognitive strain. It gives them a lot of control on their learning uh, they, by giving them access, choice, and control of how they navigate the different content that you are sharing with them. There's also a lot of opportunity through this, I guess, vast abstracted digital space to um, share resources, like have new conversations, um, network on so many levels. I was actually able to go and get guest speakers from all over the world. Back to basics of really making sure you are communicating and being inclusive. That re-examining of, of that practice, re-examining of, of what we actually mean by engagement online. Learning how to design more elegant interfaces can actually improve connection and accessibility for people and that this in and of itself is health promoting. Being comfortable in a working environment that is a virtual one I think it's going to be a, a good life skill, and I think that this is a good preparation for it. I have to say Zoom. It was Zoom primarily. Definitely Zoom. 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 I think if you can create materials where your students have an opportunity to reconsider a concept multiple times, perhaps from different perspectives, they're going to come to class not only more prepared and more engaged, but they're going to ask much more interesting questions, which I am always thirsty to get. It can be uh, isolating, it can be passive. Uh, so I think adding that interactivity to the resources that you're sharing with your students is so important to keep them engaged with the content. Um, in terms of higher education, this is really the push um, we're looking for, that equity and justice is sort of the baseline for everything else to layer on top. So with digital learning, I feel like I actually get to be more comprehensive, and I think that's really good. This is learning just by doing this. You know, this is a great opportunity to deal with something that isn't ideal, but we're getting through it as a community. Let yourself be surprised and delighted by your student. And saves your sanity as well. Saves your sanity. Yes, must remember, stay sane, stay sane. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>